Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing Optimal Conditions for a Sacrifice. I believe it's for a, um, it was a Yuri game jam, but I'm not exactly sure, but it seems to be really good. It's a very short game though, so let's just go ahead and sacrifice ourselves. Okay, oh, okay. For as far as you can remember, you have never had a heart. But there was a legend. Huh, how did it go again? All right. If one was to offer her parts to the guardians of the forest, legs to mindlessly follow Archfey anywhere, hands to selflessly do Archfey's bidding, head to gaze upon Archfey's beauty and repeat her, window her wisdoms, the Archfey would give them in exchange her heart. Or something along those lines. Hey, do you think, does this sound real? If so, is that a fair trade though, I wonder? So anyway, back to the topic, you heartless girl. When you look at other people being all cutesy and happy together. Okay! <laughs> you find it kind of gross. Is it because they're two girls or is it because they're just together? Get a room, will ya? No need to be so public. Okay, just because... They're a couple. Were you supposed to feel happy for them? At least it's nice you don't envy them since you are fine being on your own. They never understand love anyway. They always mistake it for attachment, destiny, lust, fangirling or fanboying, chemistry, and comfort. They have no right to tell you anything about love. And you are fine being by yourself. That's right, you don't really need your own heart, neither you need arch phase. But the arch phase is being all clingy so you, you keep hearing this story all again and again first in the game description and now again and this whole game seems kind of linear so far so you guess you won't mind having a heart well i guess i guess to choose so i have a snake fish or deer well, let's do snake she is so freaking pretty uh welcome sacrifice it seems reasonable for me to assume you have you feel lost and confused. I mean, why else would anyone consider tearing themselves apart for the promise of something as fickle and empty as someone's heart? Therefore, allow me to offer you some explanations. Therefore, allow me to mislead you even further. Who am I? Where am I? Who is Archfey? What is the Archfey's heart? Make a sacrifice. Mm, who am I? The clear cloudless blue, the first bird's vocal in the morning, the paved road that wasn't maintained and rebuilt for more than 20 years, the heartless, the sacrificial maiden, the offering, the perfect being, so simple and pure, a symbol of our humbleness before the gods, someone so directionless they might even reach for the very heavens. Where am I? In the place where the waters are murky and the sun is bright behind the foliage, the magic forest where the archfey and her guardians reside. Or maybe should I say along the lines of, the forest represents your wells of consciousness, your ID? Was that ID? Just ID. Our identity. Um, big pretty words, very deeply meaningful, very flamboyant, but I want to pretend I'm no, I'm no liar for now. Oh, I like your little cute smile. Who is the archfey? Ah, uh, this is the question, isn't it? Is she the mysterious and unapproachable femme fatale, the graceful blue lady? Is she the almighty forest deity, the ever powerful Demerage? I don't know if I said that right. Is she your secret admirer or creeper stalker? Creepy stalker? Or maybe she is a regular boring fae attempting to sell herself too high. I must admit, I believe it's not so important who she, she is really. Who she is for you. What is the Archfae's heart? Since you are here, you must have figured out yourself that it's quite a neat t trinket. Once you acquire it, it doesn't grant you much. But once you part with it, along with it, you lose your taste in meals and the colors of your dreams. It's like seeing the unicorn for the last time. And excuse me for bar barging in like that, but I should mention she's not referring to the loss of innocence. She is referring to the movie titled The Last Unicorn, which you could have not seen or read though. She has never read the book, so it's a reference that might stretch or be a total miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course.
course, you could still experience joy from other bodily organs, but it's slightly different. Some people prefer lungs or tongues or ovaries or livers to hearts. For example, I'm personally a fan of brains myself, but most people get used to having a heart and they immediately try to replace it once it's gone. Usually, those replacements don't really pump blood very well. They just bleep at every groove entrance in an annoying manner. I guess I don't have a choice but to make a sacrifice. Um. Uh. I don't want to offer anything yet. Because I don't know what she really... I forgot what the hell she said. Oh my god. She just said it. I think she said that she... She liked the head. Or she liked brain. Brains. So let's go offer the head. You offer her your head. Ah, oh, this is so kind of you. It's so pure and empty. I can keep so much useful stuff in here. And there. Trust me, uh, trust me, I'll put it into good use. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and move on. I guess we'll do deer. Oh, their designs are so freaking cute. Kind and gentle, delicate and caring, strong and independable, rich and generous, gifted and diligent, pure and precious, honest and straightforward, calm and peaceful, decisive and coherent, patient and versatile, considerate and polite. And I'm just describing those perfect hands of yours. I'm guessing she wants my hands, so let's just go ahead and give it to her. I humbly accept your offer, and yet I have to say, who needs anything perfect anyway? Oh. So, did she just reject me? What? Okay, let's go to the fish. Oh my god, she is... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let the water carry me along. Do you know this quote? But why do we ever care about the source of the water, only its destination. I don't want the water to carry me along. I want to go across the river and against the flow and sail the land. Offer my legs. You offered her your legs. Silly sacrifice. Why would I want these despicable things? Did I ever say anything about your legs? Oh, I thought she wanted to go. Oh, I don't want you to be my legs. I want my own. I don't want to, you to carry. Well, I don't want you to carry me i want to walk side by side i prefer to see see you walking by yourself than having your legs they're worthless to me but she still took them <laughs> okay well who's this oh look at you brainly people pleaser absolutely disgusting but cute you think if you do what people want you to then everything turned out nicely Maybe you think that by following the paved road, you receive the most sensible storyline? Why would I give you my heart to someone so empty? No talents, no ambitions, no personality, no feelings. A cripple who gave away anything, well, gave away anything of worth they had. And for what? Listen here, I'm not giving you my heart. Oh, this is the, um, the god I'm guessing we're trying to get her heart. For, for Ar Arfrey? Arfrey? You said it yourself in the beginning. You don't really need it. But, you know, I personally never liked being by myself. It's just kind of boring. I can take it much better than most people, though. So, I can't judge them when they decide to desperately stick with people they don't love. And with people who don't love them back. Having someone by your side is fairly comforting and fills you with goals and ambitions and whatsoever. Of course, it could also be bothersome and pre pressuring. Depends on the person, I guess. And, well, two persons, I guess. Both you and the other person. And that has nothing to do with hearts and feelings, of course. I have always fallen in love easily, but I've never gotten close because I know they'll disappoint me. Are you any different? Maybe fall in love is a strong phrase. And you know, like having a crush, taking a liking. Many people try to explain love, so many stories and songs about it. But don't, usually, don't, they, don't they usually all come out wrong? They praise one's beauty, they praise one's personality, they praise their experience together. Some say love doesn't exist. Others say, well, others can't differ it from camaraderie. Others can't, others explain it with biology. God damn it, this is a lot deeper than I thought because it's just making me look at my past relationships now. <laughs> of course, I'm no better. I also won't, 
will be able to explain love and I won't even make an attempt to. All right, let's get back to the topic. I'm very forgiving Archfey, so I don't really care who offers me their parts now that I'm thinking about it. So try again, push on, you'll definitely get it next time. I, is that the end? Oh, and so you didn't manage to get the Archfey's heart, but don't lose your spirit just yet. Offer yourself again and again and again and again and see what comes out of it. Okay, so we know that she 100% Oh, I can ask more questions. Welcome back, Sacrifice. Who are you? Can't you guess? The sage, the scholar, the teacher, the end goal. The venomous trickster who will be the end of your ignorance, the end of your youth, the end of your adulthood, the end of your elder years, the glimmer at the end of the tunnel, the tunnel herself, the phantom movement you catch with your peripheral vision, the feeling of the limb you never had, the weight you feel woken in the morning. I am the first lie you heard and the first lie you ever told. Who is the mermaid? The librarian. She reads and, tell, and retells other stories as she's scared to live her own. As you know, the Little Mermaid's Tales is infamous for being sad and cruel. Who is the centaur? My sweetheart, the prettiest lady of the woods. She is freaking adorable. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Asim, oh, um, Asim, Asim, okay, Asim. I mean the art, artisan, the all mother, the creator, the origins of this forest, the real goddess. Wow, casual big reveal time, I guess. <laughs> she sees other hearts turns parents and knows them all, yet also knows nothing. Make a sacrifice. She liked my head. Yeah. So see, I'm I'm gonna hundred percent give my head to her. Speak to the fish lady. Let me tell you a story about a little fish who enjoyed walking other fish's footsteps. It filled her with confidence and comfort. Surely the fishes in front have already explored the road and have endured all the hardships in her stead. It was easier this way. But once she saw the fishes in front of her going the way she didn't like, so the little fish said, Fuck this shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you like my story, would you like to present me with anything? Um, I'll decide later. <laughs> okay, patient and calm. Oh, okay. And patience is all the same thing. Yep. Oh, I'm describing those real hands of yours. I'll offer my legs. I humbly accept your offer, dear sacrifice. Okay, so she just accepted it. But she's still. Oh, God damn it. same thing I'll offer my hands thank you silly sacrifice okay <laughs> she looks more disappointed in me fuck <laughs> you know I know you didn't really need my heart and that's exactly that's exactly why I'm so insistent and keep bringing it up again and again I hate it when people are being really enthusiastic about my offer. I feel like they don't really get the message and have some wrong ideas about me and my heart. They start thinking it's some kind of almighty artifact that are, that they somehow have some power over me. Creeps. <laughs> they either overestimate or misunderstand me. Maybe I should give my heart to one of them, but I really don't want to. I want to offer it to you, my dear sacrificial maiden. You don't need my heart, that's why I want to give it to you. Maybe I'm just not your type, I don't know. Maybe you're more into celestials or fiends or agents or weapons. People really into worshipping weapons nowadays. You seem to... You seem like one of them, actually. If I really did not like you, why would I do all this? <laughs> so so I'm totally fine with we keeping... With we keeping being this way. Keep being this way. Oh god. You don't need my heart. I keep offering it to you. And you keep your bodily parts to yourself. Actually, you know, it'd actually be cool if you started worshipping someone else. Of course, only if they're better than me. If you truly care about them and they really care about you. I don't want to be this needy and to bother you. But if you really want my heart, be more forward with it, okay? Try again with honesty and devotion this time, please. Don't start pretending that you want my heart. I need you to earn it, yeah? I don't want you to compromise or tolerate or settle with me. 
I need this to be a proper victory. There is no middle ground nor ties. It's either my heart or nothing. Okay. Talk to the fish. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I didn't even notice this is a whole different story. Okay. Let me go ahead and leave and then just actually read her story. <laughs> Let me tell you about a story about a fish who enjoyed it when other fishes followed her footsteps. Not in a creepy way, she simply enjoyed being looked up to. Social media followers and copycats, and so, so to say. This admiration filled little fish with confidence and determination. If she was strong enough to path the way, then she can endure anything. She could choose her own path and other fishes followed it, so like, it meant she was cool. But once her followers got tired from walking, so they blamed the little fish for choosing such a long and difficult road. The little fish said, what the fuck? I'm a fish. I don't walk. I don't have any footsteps. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening. If you like my story, would you like to present me with anything? Okay, so she said that for me to keep all my body parts, so I'm just going to offer nothing and see what happens. You offered her your nothing. Thanks for nothing, silly. Oh, wait. That's the thing I could actually sacrifice? Oh. I wish I knew that. Witty, provocative, sweet and cheerful, impolite and cruel, honest and straightforward, impulsive and coherent, forgetful and sensitive, clingy and bothersome, laid back and adaptable, sloppy and careless, dependable, diligent, fragile and ignorant. I'm just describing those real hands of hers. All for nothing. I humbly accept your nothing, dear sacrifice. Okay. So, and then I deal with her. The questions were asked and the answers were given. Now it's time for me to ask you something in return. How you understand what has been going on so far? No. I'm just gonna say no. Oh, is that so? Which floor ever, uh, dweller is your favorite? <laughs> I can choose myself. No, uh, the whole point of this was the arch face. So let's go to arch face. Makes sense. Which fuller uh, dweller is the most relatable? I really like the mermaid. Mm, I'm doing the mermaid. Huh, interesting answer. And finally, do you expect this story to have a happy ending? No, I don't. I really don't. All right. Thank you, Sacrifice. I would also like to appreciate if you like a if you write a Archfey a copy of her answer using this external gadget. It's simply a Google survey. Don't be alarmed. I did it. Okay. <laughs> feel free to change your answers or refill it after you finish the story if you wish. I'll offer my nothing. Ah, uh, thank you, Sacrifice. Many people don't understand how valuable Void really is. Keep in mind that lack of something is also still a something. Interesting. Oh, this, I really love this, like, artist. Oh, God, I need to figure out who, who made this again because this just looks very pretty. So I guess you really want my heart, huh? But why? It's worthless, to be honest. I think I was really clear about it. Yeah, I don't have your own heart. Well, you don't have your own heart, so what? You don't need it. You needed your other body parts way more, and yet you gave you gave them away just like that. I didn't give anything this time, I just did nothing. But, okay. Your life can be easily as fulfilling, or even more, if you chase your dreams and aspirations instead of your heart. And you know that, and I know that, so it seems that you really do want my heart. Can it be true? How can it be possible? Did I bother you for so long that you simply gave up, or something you forgot about your heart's non-existent worth? About my heart, sorry. Are you just curious what will happen once you finally get it? Girl, I'm s gonna be- I'm so gonna be disappointed in you. I'm so- wait, oh god, I can't read. Girl, I'm so going to disappoint you. My anxiety tells me that you just settled with me. I did it though! My sensibility tells me it can't be true. I don't think you are that sort of person. I don't think I would have loved you if you were such a person. Also, she loves me! Maybe you're just so good at pretending, can it be? 
no matter what your reasoning is, I'm not fine with it. You're not getting my heart just because you think you want it. Just because you su successfully convinced me you want it. Sorry for being so selfish. You have to redo it. Yeah, no proper reason for me to refuse, but I don't understand what's going on. I'm not going to give you my heart when I'm confused. Try again and maybe put your heart into it this time. Ugh. I feel like I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about two little fishes who enjoyed walking side by side. They knew that fishes don't walk and I would have loved to tell you that those two fishes enjoyed each other's company so much that they felt like they had some phantom limbs and felt like they could even fly. But in reality they just enjoyed walking over other fishes corpses so much that they evolved into walking beings. I guess I don't have a choice but to offer my legs. You offered my legs. I'll offer your legs. Ah, uh, thank you, Sacrifice, but was this really a gesture of kindness, I wonder? Now, when you don't have legs, you'll learn that one, can, one can't really rely on someone else's legs to carry on them. One has to stand on their own wobbly legs, um, wobbly, uneven legs with dignity. Okay. Snake. Finally. At least, at last, welcome, Sacrifice. I believe there isn't much left for me to bestow upon you. I can't even ask anything in return as we've done it already. I suppose I can spoil you a little bit further. How do I get the good ending? Yeah, let's just go ahead and ask. Well, since you are reading this, you are on your way to get your true good ending, trust me. But be a, just a little bit more patient. Donate a little bit more in a little bit longer. And you'll get your happily ever after smart are, are there any different endings there are outcomes different from the ones you are currently on your way to get but they are not significant they are not much fun just dead ends and do-overs if you're curious about the specifics the one you can you can well, the one you get if you never offer anything and the other you get if you always mess up which part to offer the each guardian and if you're so curious about the specifics, I am responsible for the head, mermaid heeds to the legs, and the centaur has the rightful ownership of rear arms. Which part of the archfly associates with is quite transparent, I say. Why is the story so short? Because some people hate letters and letters hate them as well. <laughs> the harmony and the balance is all. Who made this? <laughs> there we go. Someone called Musa Nisi used to something called Ren Pan and the m music made by someone called Perry Tune to create this divine forest. Well, thank you so much. This is actually really cute and I love the freaking drawings. It looks so freaking amazing. I don't get it. No, off from my head. I understand. Ah, uh, that's so kind of you. And the same thing as before. And we'll go ahead and do the deer and the centaur. Self-hating and whiny, boring and plain, slow and lazy, jittery and anxious, detached and distant, incompetent and unproductive, vain and cocky, intrusive and pushy, stubborn and unreasonable, annoying and bothersome, obnoxious and biased. I'm just describing this perfect hands of hers. Offer my hands. I humbly thank you for the offer, dear sacrifice, but nobody wants these. I don't either. Oh. But she still took them, but okay. <laughs> oh. You have to confess. Actually, this whole time, you had a heart. Your own heart. Sure, it's kind of small and sort of ugly and doesn't beat that often. But mostly, it's just that showing and offering it to someone is so gross and awkward and embarrassing. It's confusing why any of us have to... <sighs> God, Lord. It's confusing why any of us has to feel the way we do. Most of the time we feel nothing, even if it's socially appropriate, we felt something. But still, indifference is also an emotion, and feelings disgust you. Oh, this drawing, it looks so freaking cute. I love it. You can't believe that I and the Arch Frey was talking about my feelings for so long and repeated myself over and over for so long. I don't want to be needy and greedy and selfish but that's the way i am nevertheless i believe unconditional love is wrong but i still wish for it i want to become a better person for you even though i've been pathetic so far and i don't want i don't want to love you the way you are i want to constantly work 
on becoming a better person, and I guess I'm being unfair as well. As well, although good and bad aren't really appropriate words to describe someone's personality. How one, how can one be better or worse? Oh, and by the way, just phrase you can't love yourself until you love yourself. I call bullshit. Only weirdos can learn genuinely genuine love themselves and the best we miserable regular people can achieve is tolerate others ourselves and that's already quite a lot all right that's why you can value uh, you can value and love other people because they are different from you but since we'll never love ourselves and thus each other i got the good ending <laughs> let's just burn the world together and just have fun as long as we can Let's prove to people who don't believe in our love that it's real and that they are wrong. We can love each other. We can earn each other's love. Love doesn't have to be unconditional, and that's all right. I can contradict myself, and that's all right. I say that I don't really need you, but we both know it's a lie, and I'm greedy. I wish I didn't want you to prove anything to me, but I want you to, and I want to prove yourself. I want you to prove yourself as well. And I don't. I do always want to impress you, so it's fine, right? Love is not about sacrifices and giving away and receiving. It's more like you both feel like you can receive something even though nobody's giving it to you. Do you feel the same way? I'm neither goddess nor devil, so let me worship you. Let's share our future discoveries to get with each other. Let's both be gods in our own. Let's create and let's destroy as we please. Let's gain a ridiculous amount of power in this messed up unfair world. <laughs> Let's Netflix and chill. <laughs> Love stories are so boring and cliche. Let's just fast forward to when we, when we live our happily ever after and never talk about it, yeah? Leave no witnesses because I'm awkward and closeted. And with that, bye bye little witness. Thank you for sparing us your time. Okay. I, I really loved that. Okay. Um, it was just amazing. I don't know what else to say. It was just... It was just really good. And it's just... It just made me really think about my past relationships and how I used to see love. So, I would say people to play this game and actually donate because this is... This can go a very long way, but I don't know where else they're going to go with this story. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.